The heater valves, red arrow, are located on the right side of the car, between the battery and firewall. You can see the main coolant line from the engine, and two lines that run to the heater core, yellow arrows, along with the windshield reservoir heating line, green arrow, in this picture. Begin by pinching off the coolant hose from the engine, or draining the coolant. Even with the line pinched off, there will be some coolant that spills, so be prepared to catch it and dispose of it in accordance with the regulations in your area. On the engine side of the firewall, use a flathead screwdriver and remove the clamp, then the hose from the valve body, red arrows. You can leave the windshield fluid reservoir line attached as it's easier to remove later. Disconnect the wiring harness from the top of the forward solenoid, red arrow, by squeezing in the clips and pulling it back. Disconnect the wiring connection, red arrow, from the lower solenoid, yellow arrow, in the same manner as before. Next, disconnect and remove the battery. Please see our article on battery replacement for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. With the battery removed, use a 10 mm socket and remove the two bolts holding the tray in place, red arrows, then pull the tray up and out. With the tray removed, you can see the two heater core lines, yellow arrows connected to the heater valve, red arrow. It is a good idea to clean all of the dirt and debris you will find under the tray, green arrow. Pinch off the two heater core lines and use a flathead screwdriver to remove the hose and clamps on the line. Separate the lines from the heater valve, green arrows. Even with the lines pinched off, there will be some coolant that spills, so be prepared to catch it and dispose of it correctly. If you are replacing the heater core hoses, they attach to the core by standard hose clamps. It is a tight fit, but use a small flathead screwdriver and remove the clamps and hoses. Red arrows. There are three rubber grommets that sit in cutouts in the heater mount. Yellow arrow, one shown. Slide the rubber grommets, red arrow, one shown, out of the cutouts. The valve is now free. Pull the valve back out of the grommet in the firewall, yellow arrow. Turn the valves on their sides and remove the hose and clamp to the windshield fluid heater, red arrow. This picture illustrates the heater valve out of the vehicle. You can see the heater connections for the heater core hoses, green arrows, coolant hose to water pump, red arrow, and the windshield reservoir heater hose, yellow arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.